City of Pikeville has announced that uh, Officer Scotty Hamilton was shot and killed tonight in the line of duty. Just something you just can't wrap yourself around. family needs your support, our police family needs your support, and we're thankful for the great turnout that we have tonight. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. This is a Mountain News special report. As many of you have probably heard by now, a police officer in Pikeville was shot to death late last night. Here's some more information we learned today about Officer Hamilton. He was a graduate of Shelby Valley High School in Pike County. Scotty married the love of his life in February 2013. A few weeks ago marked their fifth anniversary. This is one of their engagement photos. Within the last year, they had their first child, a little girl. Outside the old Pikeville Courthouse sits this monument. The memorial includes the names of all law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty in the county. Another name will now be etched into history. Kentucky State Police say Officer Scotty Hamilton and Trooper Matt Martin were in the Hurricane Creek community doing a routine patrol. Been known for some possible uh, uh, high traffic and drug trafficking activity. Police say Trooper Martin found Hamilton shot. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Now police are looking for those responsible. Just be aware that obviously this situation has occurred and a perpetrator or suspect has not been detained, so there is someone out there. We are awaiting the police escort to bring his body back to Pikeville. I believe I may see it now. I see a lot of uh, blue lights flashing now off in the distance, so this may be the escort coming down US 23. Let's pause now and pay our respects to this brave officer. So that is the somber scene right now in Pikeville has the body of Pikeville police officer Scotty Hamilton returns home after he was murdered, shot and killed in the line of duty overnight. Let's now go to the news conference and they'll fill us in. If, if you want to lead in, are you asking questions? Um, well, I was going to say if you want to lead in. Um, what, do you know, what do you know at this point? Okay. What, what kind of information do you have on the suspect or suspects as the case may be? At this moment, uh, there, there's no uh, suspect that's been located at this time. Um, officers, investigators are, are currently working diligently uh, trying to obtain information. Uh, obviously, there will be um, uh, in the area where this uh, tragic incident took place, uh, trying to cultivate uh, possible leads and information in order to uh, locate the individual or individuals who uh, perpetrated this uh, this deed. Do you know um, approximately how many we're dealing with here? Is that really Not at this moment. Uh, uh, at this time, information that has been gathered, uh, it, it's not known if uh, that there was anyone who actually saw this incident take place. Uh, the, the trooper that was there with Officer Hamilton uh, was, was some distance away. He, he did advise that he heard gunshots, but uh, unfortunately he was not uh, in the immediate proximity. From my understanding, there was at least uh, three uh, known, thought to be three gunshots. In it's with a heavy heart, the city of Pikeville has announced that uh, Officer Scotty Hamilton was shot and killed tonight in the line of duty. Everybody looked up to him. I myself looked up to him. It will certainly take our community some time to uh, recover from this. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. Tonight we mourn with the city of Pikeville. 
Last night, city police officer Scotty Hamilton was shot and killed in the line of duty. He was just 35 years old. The shooter remains at large. This is a picture of just one scene from earlier today where law enforcement teamed up trying to find the gunman. The Pikeville police officer was on patrol last night in the Hurricane Creek area. Shots were fired and Hamilton died. WINT's Corey McCauley joins us now live to begin our coverage. Corey. Steve, it has been an extremely emotional and difficult time for Pikeville City Police as they continue to process the loss of Officer Scotty Hamilton. Outside JW Call Funeral Home, a large group of people gathered, many just silent or even weeping. WYMT's Macy Marie continues our team coverage. A final return home. As people were stopped and getting out of their cars. Police, firefighters, and emergency responders came together to escort Scotty Hamilton's body. It was a great thing to see everybody come out and pay their respects to Scotty. Alvin and Stephen Newsome say they knew Hamilton his whole life. In the days ahead, some told WIMT's Taylor Frost they will do everything they can to honor his life. Steve, many in Pikeville are heartbroken, and as I spoke with many today, they say they will look for ways both big and small to honor, honor Officer Hamilton's life. Lord, we come to you today and we ask you, oh God. Hands folded, eyes closed, praying for healing. Comfort their broken hearts on this cold and sad day. We but mourn that... with you, Pikeville, and we will always honor and remember Officer Scotty Hamilton. End of watch, Tuesday, March 13th, 2018. Goodbye. Kentucky State Police say they found and arrested John Russell Hall around 11 Thursday morning, and they brought him back here to Kentucky State Police Post 9. And after more than eight hours of questioning, we now know what Hall is charged with. Officials say they found Hall in the Pike Floyd Hollow area of the Betsy Lane community. Officers located Mr. Hall arrested without incident and charged him at that time with possession of a handgun by a convicted felon. Police say during their questioning, they pursued additional leads that finally led them to charge Hall with murder. Kentucky State Police say they are relieved to have found Hall and put him in jail. This is a tragic situation that at the end of the day, there's not, not a good outcome. Um, it's something that we are glad that charges have been filed, but it's just a bad situation from every aspect. The investigation is still ongoing with more details to come. At this point, I don't know what's been said or anything of that nature, but I know our reaction here is, is we are so relieved that justice is now taking its chance to be served. Well, it's definitely a relief for, uh, for all of us, and I'm sure definitely the Pikeville Police Department as well as everybody in the community. This guy will never see daylight, that's what I'm hoping. And uh, uh, everyone I talk to in this community wants Johnny Hall dead. The entire county does. I can't find one person that doesn't. We know there's a grieving family, and then there's a second grieving family, and that's members of the police department. But the community is grieving as well. Uh, the attack on Officer Hamilton was an attack on every citizen of this community, and, and he stood for what's good in this community. As the sun disappeared behind the mountains, the crowds came in droves. I think it's a loss that's going to affect this area of this town for a long time. A loss felt deeply by so many. Friday night, hundreds came to show they care and prove the people of this tight-knit mountain town are here through thick and thin. There was no, there was 
no finer man. Thanks, God. He had integrity like no other. He was honest, dedicated, and sincere. He never questioned his courage. He never backed down from a challenge. And he always was the first to step up. We lost a dedicated, positive role model that worked tirelessly every day to ensure that you were safe. He loved his wife and he loved his life. My most beloved memory of Scotty was the night that Brinley was born. And the hours leading to her birth, I'd never seen him so nervous, excited, and scared. And throw it all, throw it all, my eyes are on. I love you, Scotty. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for giving me the best image out there to model myself after, but I will never come close to being able to fill your shoes. I say, who is Scotty Hamilton? He is going to be a part of each and every one here today. I just want to say thank you for honoring my husband and uh, thank you for remembering him. Thank you for being his friend, his brother. And just thank you so much. The funeral wrapped up probably about 30 minutes ago, and now we're seeing the procession come down Hambly Boulevard. This is Steve Hensley along with Neil Middleton. Just in case you're uh, joining us and late and wondering what you're looking at, we are waiting with you a proceeding in Pike Circuit Court uh, where John Russell Hall is now seated uh, in the courtroom. Uh, the Commonwealth's attorney is in the courtroom. We're waiting for the judge to come back into the courtroom. We have been told that it is possible John Russell Hall may plead guilty to the, uh, to the murder of Officer Scotty Hamilton back in March. After more than nine months. I try to look at the positive things and uh, I'm just glad he's done with. The man who so carelessly took Officer Scotty Hamilton's life will be behind bars for good. I will probably never have closure. Um, we're gonna have to live with this the rest of our life. For Scotty's wife, Chelsea, she'll never have answers as to why, never, and many others will not either. It'll never be a closure for us neither. Uh, uh, just a chapter in it that's got to take place and it's already took place. Wednesday marked the end of this chapter for Scotty's brothers at the Pikeville Police Department. We all went up to the gravesite this morning. We promised we was going to come up on the closure date and we all went up this morning to visit with him and uh, now it's finally come to a close. A solemn moment overlooking the city and remembering Scotty's legacy. A lot has changed since he was taken from them, but time continues on as it always does. We wish and hope but there is nothing we can do to slow it down. Today was hard, but I'm glad that it's over and uh, me and Brindley, my daughter, can go on with our lives the best we can. But it's that same forward motion of time that can hopefully one day, and that's what Scotty would have wanted, allow healing.